Hi, I'm Kevin from Related Visual, and today we're going to be looking at a wireless microphone system, the Shure PGX series wireless mic. What I'm going to show you today is how to set up the wireless microphone system to your sound system or to one of our speakers, as well as to troubleshoot some of the common issues associated with it. So when we take a look at the receiver here, there's different components. First, we have the receiver. You've got your microphone cable, a power pack that connects to the receiver, and then you've got your microphone. Okay, so this receiver needs external power, which you're going to connect your DC power pack to here. Okay, and then you can choose to either use an XLR cable or a quarter inch to run out to your sound system, whether it be a built-in house sound system or an external speaker. Today we're using the XLR, uh, XLR cable. Now once you get everything connected and you ensure that there is, uh, the, power is the unit is receiving power, you can tell that the lights are, are lit up on the LED screen here, and so you're ready to go. Now, this system has a couple nice features uh, with the diversity of channels that are available to you, so you can find an available channel in an environment where there might be more than one wireless microphone, or uh, when there's heavy frequency usage, maybe near an airport and in other uh, hotel applications. So uh, one of the things here is it's got a channel selector, and this is going to randomly select a channel. And that's nice, uh, you, it, it's basically just going to pick uh, whichever one might be available out there. And um, it doesn't really matter what channel that is on, as long as it is synchronized with the microphone. And in order to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to first remove the battery cover. Okay, expose the batteries, and there you also have the transmitter, uh, which will synchronize to the receiver. So the first thing you want to do is turn on the microphone. It's absolutely necessary that the microphone is turned on in order for the synchronization to work. So you turn on the microphone, the receiver is also receiving power, and here on the front of the receiver you're going to see a sync button. Okay, and We're going to hold that down while holding the transmitter of the microphone near the receiver for approximately three seconds. And that, what that's going to do is synchronize on the channel of the receiver, the microphone, and the receiver together. Okay, So we'll hold that down for three seconds, and there, it's synchronized. Okay, and the way that I know that they're synchronized is when I talk into the microphone, you can see it's receiving signal. Check. One, two. Okay, another tip that you can use or is with this receiver, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to elevate it as much as possible in the room so that because when the wireless signal coming from the microphone is going through four or five hundred people in a ballroom, it's going to have a more clear passageway above the heads of the people. So you want to elevate this as much as possible. And one thing that makes that easier is instead of using, for example, here we're just using a three-foot XLR cable for demonstration purposes, you can use a 25-foot, 50-foot XLR cable to elevate this to the location needed so that you're getting a clear signal. Okay, and once you get everything set up, you can go ahead and turn on your speaker system and check one, two, we are receiving power. So we know the wireless microphone works. Thank you for listening, and we hope that you view all the rest of our videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you.